What's going on guys, King Shrats here, back with the video on the channel. And today we are back with another episode of Last Chance. Last Chance is where I give places that I didn't necessarily have the best experience at one more chance to redeem themselves and make it back into the rotation. Today we went to Charlie's Cheesesteak, and if you don't know what it is, Charlie's Cheesesteaks is a cheesesteak place. It's popular in food courts, but there are brick and mortar places. This is actually from a brick and mortar location, so it's not located inside of a mall or anything like that. And I got some of the most popular menu items we got about $55 worth of food, and we are going to go through it today. I have not looked in here, and a few disclaimers before I start the video. Number one, people always ask me about if the food is cold or if your food's not fresh. It's better when you eat it in a restaurant. I don't know where you guys live, but in New Jersey, I live within two miles, three miles of everything. This Charlie's is 1.7 miles away from my house. It did not take me long to get there or get back, so everything is still relatively hot and as fresh as it's going to get. Most times it takes you longer to find a seat in the food court than it does for me to get this stuff. So anyway, I want people to understand that kind of stuff before I do it, because I know everybody's, oh, you I understand. Respect my opinion, I respect yours. I'm always gonna be 100% honest when it comes to this kind of stuff. Again, I didn't look in here whatsoever. So we're gonna start off with, these are three cheesesteaks, and I know this is wings, and these are fries just by the boxes, so I don't know which one's which. We're gonna look in and see what's what. There are two Phillies in this is a Chipotle chicken cheesesteak. I'm sorry, bro. Like, eyeball test, this looks like crap. I, I just, I have, I'm always honest about these kind of things, man. This, this is not an $8 cheesesteak. Like, it's not. It just isn't. I'm sorry. But I'm going to try all these. But going off with the eyeball. This is their classic cheesesteak. They toasted the bread, which I guess is pretty good. But y'all can be the judge, man. This is what it comes like. There it is. Boom. So that is the classic cheesesteak. And then over here should be the OG Philly, which, Jesus. This is their number one. This is their Philly cheesesteak. I did not know this upon going there, but something that is, I, I can't believe, is their regular cheesesteaks come stock with lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickles. It's not a cheeseburger. I, I've never heard of that, and that's that's crazy. I I'll leave it at that. Yeah, look, I I've had a couple of cheesesteaks from Philly in my life. I ain't never seen no cheesesteak they make like a freaking sandwich, especially not when it's an actual Philly cheesesteak, but it doesn't matter. Also got some wings, which honestly look better than anything else on the menu. Uh, these are hot honey wings. So we got a oh, six piece of wings, which cost, I believe, like $8 or something like that. $8.50. I forget the exact price, but everything in here came out to about... About fifty dollars, fifty-five, sixty bucks, something like that. And then I got a strawberry um, shake. I like strawberry milk, so I figured I get a strawberry shake because I had a better chance of me liking it. And then I got the ultimate fries, which are fries with cheese and ranch. I asked for the ranch and cheese on the side so that they didn't get soggy, but um, they're hand-cut fries. I guess that's good. Sheesh. Also got a cookie. Now this isn't from them, but it was there, so I got a cookie. It's a Sweet Street uh, man Manifesto cookie? I don't know. It looks big and delicious. Pause. Anyway, let's get into this video. Let's start off with their old school cheesesteak. I'm going to read the description so that you can see if it says what it says it is, and we'll go from there. The old school cheesesteak comes loaded with extra grilled USDA choice steak, look like steakum, melted cheese sauce, I mean, that's on there, kind of and sauteed onions with a toasted roll. All seem to be there. I mean, there. There's some cheese on there, I guess, so. Let's let's get into this. This is this is a, I mean, there is extra meat on here when you close it. I mean, that's not a lie. But, here we go. God damn. USDA choice, my, okay. Let's start with the pros. There's a lot of meat on here. The bread is soft, and uh, it, it is toasted. I 
That's all I got. There's a lot of meat on here. I don't really get much of a grilled onion taste. There just isn't enough of it. They have a very minuscule amount of it. I can't show you a close-up, but there's not much of this going on, so the flavor really doesn't come through. The meat, it says it comes with some sort of seasoning on the meat. I don't taste it. Um, again, I've had a lot of cheese steaks in my life. This is, is, is extremely mid. Like, it just is. Like, there's nothing that is relatively horrible about it, but there's absolutely nothing that is good about it either. I will say, like, it's nice that it's fresh. People say it's not, but it is. Jesus. It just doesn't taste like anything. You can definitely save these. If you season the hell out of it and put something on it and do... I can see that, but... This cost twelve dollars. That's not a twelve dollar cheese stick. Anywhere. That's just the truth. So I don't really know what to tell you. I would eat it, but you'd have to give it to me. Four out of ten. Now this here is a new cheese steak. This is the bacon chipotle cheese steak, which features grilled and seasoned all white meat chicken, sauteed onions. And sliced bacon, all topped with pepper jack cheese and smothered in chipotle, smothered in chipotle ranch sauce. Smothered. This cheese steak comes with lettuce and tomato. I don't like lettuce. I, I've made that statement a billion times. Um, I'm just not a big fan of it. So, I don't get lettuce. You can put lettuce on yours. I mean, it is pretty smothered. I'm just going to move this bacon so it's like actually on here. And we'll, we'll take this one. And you can even give me two slices of the tomato, bro. I'll put it over here this way I can... No, because this bite looks... I don't know. Just give me the damn cheese stick. And this costs, I swear people have the loudest cars in the history of cars, bro. This costs $7.79. Just so you know. Anyway. Anyway. This is actually better than their cheesesteak. The chicken cheesesteak, because of the chipotle sauce or whatever's on there, and the bacon, has a little bit more flavor. I'm gonna try the chicken cheesesteak on its own. Yeah, it still doesn't taste like anything. But that sauce on here is pretty good. The sauce on here is actually really good. Like, really good. It carries the living hell out of this. I would pick this before I picked anything else, to be honest. And it's really because of that sauce. Not that I got a ton of bacon on there. And it makes the chicken just very flavorful. Chicken is a little dry. It is chicken breast, so it can dry out pretty quick. But if I was going here again, that would be the only thing on the menu that I would eat. So far. Really. Not half bad. Six and a half out of ten. All right, let's try this shake. Strawberry shake, four dollars. It's like the, the laziest shake making I've ever seen. That's pretty good. There's actual chunks of strawberry in here. It seems like some sort of strawberry syrup that isn't really mixed the best, but if I just move the straw around, I kind of get a taste for it. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's, the, honestly, if I got that in a cheesesteak, the, the Chipotle chicken cheesesteak, I, I wouldn't be half upset about it between those two. This gets a 7 out of 10. Anyway, let's move on to their regular Philly cheesesteak, which the biggest difference is the provolone. 
and the peppers and onions from what I can see here. Let's give you the description. This is a small, it is the regular Philly, their number one most liked thing on the menu. It's made with grilled USDA choice steak, green peppers, mushrooms, and onions topped with melted provolone and served on their signature toasted roll. That is your signature roll, huh? And it is stock, which I still can't believe, with lettuce, tomato, mayo, and pickle. I listen, I, I have I've had a pretty decent amount of Philly cheesesteaks. The Philly part is the part that gets me. You can call it a cheesesteak, but I don't think I've ever gotten a authentic, you know how people do that. I'm not trying to gatekeep, but calling it a Philly cheesesteak puts that and that doesn't put any in the mind of it. Not with lettuce, tomato, mayo, and pickles. That that's different. But again, I've seen people get it, but it's a weird I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get, I'm just talking too damn much. This one was $11. Wow. I read that out loud and it actually took me back. The peppers taste raw. I have to turn off. I can't even chew this. What the hell? That was like a tough chew. Um, the meat, as far as like, it, it's not the meat, but the peppers. I feel like you gotta cook these a little more if you're gonna put peppers and onions on things. They're they're for they're kind of raw, but when you you know put the grills and the onions and on, and the peppers on there, the texture shouldn't be like that noticeable. It's got to be a little bit more done, and that just made for a bad bite. Um, and the cheesesteak, honestly, it, it's a little dry. The jalapenos actually did help. There's jalapenos on there. Um, they did help, like, give it some sort of flavor, but that is way worse than that one. That, I can't believe that's $12, bro. That's $11.19. Wow. Two out of ten. We got some uh, some hot honey wings. No need for the description here. These are $8.39. $8.39. $8.39. And they come with hot honey sauce on them. I don't know if that's just regular hot honey, but we shall see. Pretty decent size wing. It is a hot honey sauce. And the sauce isn't bad. The wings are kind of bad. I don't know if you noticed, but... They're a little tough, but again, $8 wing for six, not really bad price. The hot honey sauce is exactly what it sounds like. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of spicy. These aren't bad. These aren't bad. I, I would pick the wings and that Chipotle chicken cheesesteak any day. As far as the flavor goes, it's pretty spot on to what hot honey is, but just you know, I can notice that the consistency is a little different. It seems like they mixed it with a little bit of like buffalo sauce. I'm not going to expect an A plus wing at a place that's not known for wings. And the sauce isn't half bad. It's just they're a little tough. But what are you expecting from a cheesesteak place? They're good enough. Six out of ten. Trying to remember in my videos to show myself drinking liquid in between testing things because some people think I'm actually not drinking anything. Someone also asked the other day if I drink water. Yes, I do. Again, there's 24 hours in a day. These videos are 20 minutes of them. I do drink water throughout the day. Like, sometimes I, I, I try to be thorough, but so the answer is yes.
I drink a gallon of water a day. Um, for people who don't know. When I'm actually eating, I don't like to drink water. I drink water when I'm not eating. Uh, does that make sense? I hope it does, because in my head it did. These are their ultimate fries, which apparently come with uh, ranch and cheese, which I got on the side, so they just look like regular fries without it. Um, they look like hand-cut fries, and I'm just going to dip it, because it doesn't make sense to just pour this all over here. It's the same cheese sauce that comes on the steak, and this is the ranch, I guess, that comes maybe the wings, but... Honestly, they're better than I thought they'd be. The ranch is pretty good, too. That's not bad. That's not bad. The fries on their own, they're hand-cut. They are salted, which, thank goodness, I've had a very long, arduous week of non-salted fries. So, texturally, they're not my favorite, but I can work with these fries. With the cheese and the ranch, I can work with that too. You can actually find a meal here that I would be okay eating. I repeat, I probably wouldn't go out of my way for it, but I would definitely be okay eating it. So, we got ourselves a W on our hands. Fries, again, not elite, but a respectable fry. A respectable fry. I'm no a problem with these. Probably, this is actually the, the highest rating I gave anything. 7 out of 10, which I did not expect at all and this ranch is really something so we got something here last we have this cookie that is not made by them but i wanted to try it because it looked like a pretty decent cookie it says uh sandy's amazing chocolate chunk cookie it costs three dollars uh it says back here that uh 1979 they've been turning out cookies since then and we love to see that like to see places succeeding for that long this doesn't look, this looks like a nice homemade cookie to me. Let's see. Okay. Hold on. Yes, I am inspecting the hell out of this cookie. Oh, huh, it's nuts. Yeah, no, I got something in there. There are... There are nuts in this cookie. Normally, I don't really care for that. The chunks of chocolate chip in this are so big that I can more than tolerate that. Personally, I can do without it, but I like the chunks in here. This would be really, really good warmed up. 100%. And... The nuts in the cookie aren't like incredibly hard. So it doesn't make for an awkward chew. When there's a huge texture difference with nuts and cookies or brownies, I don't necessarily like it. So they're softer, which I don't mind. And I love a good chocolate chunk, chocolate chip cookie. I like the chunks of chocolate in there, which this does have. Very good, respectable cookie. Eight out of 10. I know that most of this stuff seemed like it was negative, but I don't really look at it as negative. I found things this time that I could actually eat, which means they are still on the rotation. I would still eat here. I would just stay away from certain things. I don't think this place is bad. I think it's overall average. I wouldn't go out of my way to necessarily get anything from here, but there are some things on the menu that you can eat, which makes it an average restaurant for me. Most restaurants aren't the best with everything, but they have stuff that you can get. For me, the cheesesteaks suck. That's just me being honest. The actual beef cheesesteaks suck. The chicken cheesesteak with the chipotle sauce, if you manage to put the chipotle sauce on here, you could save it, but I think it works better with the chicken, just by the texture of everything. Um, I do think it's pretty overpriced for what you're getting. Like, this is, there's no way that this should cost you $11. There's no way that this should cost you $9. Like, I just, personally, that's a bit much. The fries weren't bad. That would be even better if you were eating it in a food court. But again, this is mall food court food to me because that's where it originated. I, I don't look at things like Philly cheesesteaks and fries, places like that, 
as things that you have to eat in the restaurant. I know people are huge on that. People that get upset, and I get why you get upset, you know, but like food from, from stuff like this is not meant to be eaten in house, in my opinion. You can take it home. I understand with sit down restaurants, people are sticklers for that, but you're gonna have to bear with me because I can't eat inside the restaurant. I've done it in multiple uh, multiple videos last year. I got copyright claim because there's always music in the background and, and people doing things and distractions, so I prefer eating it at home. But I repeat, every restaurant you have seen me eat at in the entirety of this YouTube channel, unless you saw me eating in the restaurant or outside, I live within four or five miles. Tops, and most of them it's two or three or one. That's the re... Geographically, I live in Bergen County, New Jersey. It is one of the smallest by area, but one of the largest in population counties in the country. This is all stuff you can look up on the internet. Population density wise, we are like sardines here, which means there's a lot of restaurants in a short span of stuff. I know if you live in places where you drive 15, 20 minutes to go to restaurants and stuff like that, it might be different, but it's not like that here. You can ask anybody who lives near me. And anyway, <laughs> back to the Charlies at hand. The fries are pretty decent, the wings are pretty decent, and the chicken cheesesteak is pretty decent, and the shakes are decent. There's nothing here to me that is elite, but there is stuff here that's pretty good. That chipotle sauce and that ranch, that's like their best things that they've had in my opinion. It, they are hard calories for a lot of stuff, so if I'm in a place like a food cart or something like that, I'm like, okay, they got a Charlie's, I can get stuff, that's what I feel like this place is for me. Uh, if I was rating this entire place out of 10, it, it's bang average, maybe even slightly below average, I'd probably get like a 4.5 out of 10. But. So far, there's only one place <laughs> that is just not there. Two. If you watch my last chance series, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I'll leave it at that. Why do people drive cars like that? Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> but we will be back, man. I love y'all. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I know I got glasses marks on my face because I fell asleep with my glasses on. But, you know, I had to take them off through the video. But we move. We'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.